it's Sub-Zero versus Shatter. And they're locked and loaded in the driver's box, ready to get it on. Ready. Hell yes. Ready. Oh, easy there. Logan Davis trying to line it up and get a flip. Oh, that's some tremendous driving there. Excellent defensive maneuvers there by Logan Davis. Just a feeling out process in the first few seconds of the season for each of these bots. Yeah, they're both looking for an angle. They don't want to just go head on. Look at that hammer, how quickly that thing fires. Oh, nice work by Logan Davis taking Shatter into the rails. Nice couple of shots, though, by Shatter with that hammer. Oh! oh. oh. That's the difference between Shatter's hammer and other hammers. It can fire so quickly in succession. Logan Davis has a good head-on shot, but can't flip Shatter. Cannot get under those forks, Kenny. Well, I, I like the patience from Sub-Zero. He's just not able to get that proper angle. He thought he'd be able to outdrive him and get angle, but there, there's a nice angle. He wasn't able to oh, fire, though. Logan Davis has Shatter up. He just cannot work that lifter under him. Yeah, it's it, that weapon isn't firing the way they want it, or they're just a little late on the trigger. You have to wonder whether or not oh. that ever did some damage just like that. Adam Wrigley and Come Shatter on. told us it's all about precision with the hammer. And that weapon is working perfectly. And it's about getting there first. Shadow oh. is so good at getting those first blows. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's stuck. Oh, he's got it right in Logan Davis's grill. These two doing a little dance move. Oh, nice job with the catch and release program. Kenny Logan Davis has got to get on the offensive here with Sub-Zero. You know, Shatter is just sneaky fast. They're so good at getting them to always have their weapon in front of you. They never let you get to the side. And when they have their opportunities to strike, one they minute, don't just throw one, one. They throw about five. Under a minute to go, Logan Davis doing very little with that weapon. Doing a great job getting under Shatter, but he can't finish the job. Yeah, no question about it. That that lifter is not working. They're not able to fire it. I believe some damage happened from that precision weapon, that hammer from Shatter. You see some of the ablative armor. That's all decorative on top of Shatter. Oh, it's look been at the put smoke. on the floor. And now, Logan oh. Davison, Sub-Zero. It ain't freezing. It's smoking. Oh, he's in the it's okay. Under 30 to go. And now Shatter's got a hold of Sub-Zero and not releasing him. Adam Wrigley oh, and the Team Killsaw is doing some work. Team Shatter doing a little surgery on Sub-Zero. Such an impressive performance for Adam Wrigley and Shatter. Trying to land one ten more seconds. blow with under 10 seconds to go. Man, that is a mean butt. What a performance by Adam Wrigley and Shatter. Started. He came to win. This one's going to go to the judges' scorecard, but you have to think the three judges, all former BattleBots participants, might end up seeing this one the same way. Kenny Logan Davis did a great job early on of getting under Shatter, but he just couldn't finish the job. Yeah, it, it's hard to tell whether there was an issue with that weapon 
or the timing was off. But I, I do think they may have suffered some damage from those early hits from Shadow. Adam Wrigley always talks about the precision of his hammer. And I got to tell you, he landed more than just glancing blows tonight. Absolutely. Power means nothing if you're not able to send a force where you want. And for Shatter, they're so quick, and that hammer is so sharp. It's so impressive the way they're able to land so many blows in a short amount of time, Chris. It'll be interesting to see how the judges see this one. The results from the judges are in. The winner by unanimous decision is...